We are in chapter one doing num exercise number seven, the angle base. So we're going to start now with a rectangle. Looking at this drawing, I've already, of course, set layers and units on this. Uh, our rectangle tool is prompting us here to specify the first corner of the rectangle. And looking at our drawing, everything is coming from the lower left-hand corner. So I'm going to type in 0, comma 0, enter. And now I see that the a rectangle measures uh, 8 inches in the X and 6 inches in the Y. So I'm going to go 8, tab, 6, enter. And that gives me my outside rectangle. Now I can also come in and use the line drawing tool. I know what the coordinate point is of the end point uh, that goes over here and starts over here. So if I take 8 minus 1 is 7. So the X is going to be 7, comma, 0 is that point. And that comes up and is a 2-inch line. So I'm going to say 2, tab 90 degrees, enter. And now I can come over here. Now the Degree is giving me 45 off of this vertical line, but AutoCAD doesn't do that. So we've got to go the 90 degrees plus 45, which would be the 135 degrees. So let me tab over. I'll type in 135, tab back over to give me the line length. Now, in this case, I can't exactly uh, stop and, and no object snap is going to snap onto that line at this point. So I can just kind of go over and left click to place that right click to confirm and get out of that command so i have another line that's over here that i can also use the cartesian point that i know of and then bring it over to this intersection point now that cartesian coordinate point right here will be x of 8 y of 4.5 so make sure that you understand uh, how i'm getting that so let's go to the line tool here so uh, I'm going to, again, the prompt is to specify the first point. So my X is 8, comma, the Y is 4.5. So I've keyed those in down here, X of 8, Y 4.5, and we will hit enter. Now, I come straight over here. Now notice, now I am getting an intersection point here. So... So the object snaps that I've got on, extension and intersection, I am getting that intersection point. So I can come right over here and click right there. Right click confirm. That gives me that line. Let's go ahead and come up to my trim tool. Trim this out. We don't need that. The last thing I need to do is place those two circles that are right here. And I know what the coordinate point of the center of that circle is too. So I'll go up to my circle tool. Uh, the coordinate point here will be 3 in the X. I'm typing in 3, comma, and 2 in the Y. So notice right down here where I type that in, 3, comma, 2, hit enter. And again, it's given to us as a diameter. So I'm going to hit D, enter. This is a one inch diameter for the smaller hole. So I got another one to place now. So I'll go right click, repeat the last command, click on center. Again, this will be a D for diameter and this will be two inches. So click on two and enter. So there's that diameter. Uh, this drawing is completed and finished. So come up here and we'll go uh, file save as. In this case, I already saved this as angle base, so it's now saved. Uh, so I'm getting that. As soon as it says saved, it's saved. I'll go back to my main screen here. Uh, right here is the angle base, so I just click on that and download it. So it's downloaded to my download file folder on my computer. Uh, you can download it to your flash drive or wherever you need it to be, and then make sure that you upload that into Canvas to submit the assignment.